Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I give you some tips and tricks on shooting and retouching fireworks. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, France. And I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw file for this episode and all the past episodes. And also to subscribe to my newsletters, you will get special discount up to 40% on all my training. But you have to subscribe to the newsletter to get the codes. Click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel and get it in your YouTube notification every week. Last week, I showed you some tips and tricks on using the Sony A7R. It's a great camera that I really love. This week, the 4th of July just happened and fireworks is all over in France. We also have the 14th of July. So I'm gonna show you my best tips and tricks on shooting fireworks. But before that, I just wanna remind you that I have a new course that came out from Dare Stevens, my good friend, on Adobe Premiere Quick Start. It, the idea of the course is in a couple of hours to get you started with editing and using Adobe Premiere. I think as a photographer, Adobe Premiere is very key because we all do videos for you know weddings, friends, uh, interior design, and using Adobe Premiere is very key. That course is perfect to do it. Actually, Dare is gonna show you how he made the intro of my new short uh, that I did a couple of weeks ago. He made the intro and he's gonna use all the clips from that to get you to master Adobe Premiere in no time. All right, with no further ado, let's start and let me show you my tips and tricks on fireworks. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. And uh, the 4th of July was just around the corner and it gave me the idea of giving you some tips and tricks on shooting fireworks. I uh, should have probably done it before the 4th of July, so you would be ready, but you know, better late than never. Uh, in France, the four, we have a big celebration where there's a lot of fireworks. It's called the 14th of July, the Bastille Day. I believe that's how you call it in the U.S. And uh, actually, this uh, and there's this tradition in Paris is that we uh, they do a huge firework on, on the Eiffel Tower. So it's it's pretty amazing. The only problem is there's literally millions of people coming, and you better come like hours in advance. And um, I actually went there with a motorbike so I could squeeze in between the people because the first time I went there, I think it was a year before. I went by car, there were so many people. I went three hours in advance that I couldn't park. And I, I just, when I finally parked, I arrived and it was the last uh, f fireball I could see it was finished because it took me like four hours to get there. So this this year, uh, you know, I didn't go with family. I just took my motorbike. That was like in 2009, that was four years ago. But I just want to show you, you know, it's one of the best fireworks I ever got. I mean, you know, it's not every day that you see a huge fireworks on the Eiffel Tower. And uh, this one was really cool. So first, let's talk about gear. Of course, when you want to shoot, um, uh, that's my experience. But first, of course, you got to have a tripod because we're going for long exposures. And um, and you need a remote, uh, remote, you know, with it wireless or with a cable. You need to be able to uh, not touch your camera and, you know, and take a shot. Uh, I always shoot manual. I always go ISO 100. Uh, usually... On my f-stop, I'm between 7 to 11, and this time I was at 7.1. Uh, I, I focused on the Eiffel Tower uh, using the uh, preview. You know, you, you you use the live view, and then you 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 zoom in, you zoom in, and then you uh, you you make sure you're dead focused on 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 the area where there is going to be a firework, and then you turn off the autofocus because uh, it's it's very hard for the camera to focus during the night. So. You, I mean, it was easy for me because you had the Eiffel Tower. If you don't have the Eiffel Tower, well, you, you can do the same thing and you focus on one of the fireworks, making sure it's very sharp, and then you just stop your focus right there. Okay, and I went manual now. Uh, what I find, I tried many, many, many uh, different settings, four, five, six, seven, eight seconds. Uh, what I find to work really well is four seconds and 7.1. I know a lot of people is using uh, uh, F11 and four seconds. I'm using four seconds and 7.1, but that's just me. Uh, so I'm on manual and I put in just four seconds and seven point one. If you find it's too dark, you, know, you just can add one or two more seconds, or you can, you know, uh, maybe don't try to so much lower your aperture because you know you want the whole photo to be sharp. But anyways, uh, over the years I've done a numbers of, of fireworks and seven point one and four second has always been my lucky number. Okay, and the other thing which uh, which I kind of did this is uh, was this was shot with a five D Mark II is the white balance. If you want to get nice result, try to go on tungsten, which is cool, or fluorescent. Because during the night, it's um, 
of course we can change it afterwards but it's kind of nice you know when you take a photo even if you should roll uh, to see how it looks like you know when i hate shooting with the wrong white balance i know i can change it in lightroom but then all you know if the photos looks too blue or too yellow you don't see what you're doing really so having the proper white balance as you're shooting for me is key so i advise you to go for for a very bluish white balance like tungsten or fluorescent i was uh uh, probably a bit warmer than tungsten but anyways so uh, let's retouch a few fireworks photo and see how they look like uh, so as I said four seconds 7.1 oh yeah one very important thing check this out I shot this with a hundred millimeter well I was a bit far away but one of the thing that's I mean fireworks usually they go very high up in the air and they, it's usually always far away from you for security reasons so do not go to a firework with like a you know an 18 millimeter or a, uh, only a 14 to a 17 to 40 or something like this like a very wide angle because you're going to be disappointed it's going to look so small on your camera i had to shoot this at 100 millimeter to get it right so uh, that's just my advice so once you're on your tripod you're totally focused uh as soon as you see the ball coming up in the air you start uh, you you know you press the shutter and it's going to go for four seconds and uh if you do it longer than four seconds, well, uh, you're gonna get more uh, of the uh, of the ball. This is was again four seconds, but it can be burned out. So, but I want to show you a cool trick. This is how I retouch it. Usually, what I do is I spend a, a lot of time on the first one. So I'm gonna open up the shadows and bring down the highlights, but not so much on this one. I don't want to bring down so much highlights because I want to keep them that way. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my white point, Alt, white, and and blacks. Okay. Um, clarity can help on this one I'm going to add a bit of yeah a little bit of exposure and on the white balance let's go for tungsten see what tungsten looks like yeah, it's a bit too blue for me so I'm going to bring back I mean you know one thing you should know white balance and that's my viewpoint is completely an artistic arbitrary you know you just do the color you like but it's true I mean if you have the you know if you have your blues there it's, that's how it's going to look if you've got like shade you know let's say you are on shade for example you know it's the wrong white balance it's very yellow okay so you want to have a, a bit of blue but you know i kind of like that uh this one i think i'm going to keep it this way or you know sometimes what i can do is like keep this one this way and um uh well okay let's 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 check the, the noise there's not much noise because you know uh it was uh uh i don't believe this people on the eiffel tower man i must have been scary to be there on because it's a huge firework. It's the biggest in France. It's really big. Okay, so sharpening, I think I'm gonna go still to about uh, about 80 and I'm gonna do a noise reduction about 20 as usual. And uh, my masking, I'm gonna put around 50. Masking, remember, is whatever is black is not gonna get masked. So it's just something like that is kind of cool. Okay, so we got a nice sharp photo, not, not, not noisy, uh, basic lens profile. Okay, and uh, yeah, let's do some upright. I think it's a bit crooked. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I kind of like that. I think I'm going to add a bit more vibrance to it because, you know, you want them very, very colorful and uh, maybe a bit more contrast and uh, even more vibrance. Okay, maybe a bit more magenta, a bit more yellow. Yeah, not so much, but yeah, I, can, I kind of like that. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I'm going to press Command Shift C uh and uh, make sure that um everything is marked uh if i would have done something with a cropping here i would take it off but i didn't do anything with the cropping okay and then i'm going to go to the next photo and press command shift v and it's going to give me like a base of retouching but you know uh on this one i think i want to zoom in a little bit more so i want to see i want to crop here for example just so that we are like more on a fireworks something else and uh, I think I'm going to go even warmer on this one. Uh, not, 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 not on the blues. Not on the blues. Okay, that's one that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to do this one. Command Shift uh, V to paste what I had in memory. Okay, wow, this one is really nice. It's just too magenta. So I'm going to take up some magenta. But it was very red and maybe add some more blue. You know, yeah, I can go this directly straight to tungsten, for example. Uh, now tungsten is taking all the warm color out. Let's bring some back here. Uh, I like this one. 
This one is powerful. Imagine the Eiffel Tower is very tall. It's the biggest building in Paris. And it's a huge firework. I mean, it was really impressive. Okay, so this one is kind of cool. And then um, I'm going to go to... I'm actually going to take this one. Command Shift C to change a little bit. I'm going to copy these settings. And I'm going to go to this one. And then Command V. And uh, all right. Not bad, but too bright. So I'm going to make it darker. Maybe bring down some of the highlights. Uh, bring back some... No, take some warmth out. I think it's... This one is tricky. I mean, the white balance is really an artistic decision. I think I would do something like that. Uh, maybe bring the highlights a little bit. You know, just play around. Okay. Command V. Uh, this one is funny because this one... It's just, look look at that. It's just it's just starting, you know. The, the the fireworks are just starting. I mean, it must have been scary to be very close. It was really hard to get closed. But, uh, oh, I like this one. This one's powerful. Okay, and the last. Command V. Boom. Uh, this one, it was really cool also. And voila, so uh, this is how I shot and retouched some of the... Uh, and let me show you, show this to you again. Um, so it's it's a, it's a nice uh, it's a nice thing. Just make sure it's very easy. The key point is to have the tripod. The key point is to have the right lens. You know, make sure you got a, at least a twenty four to seventy, or if you can have like a a, a hundred millimeter, it's kind of cool because you're gonna miss a lot of it. You know, you need to get in there. You know, inside uh, these fireworks, and for this, you need to be able to zoom in a little bit and make sure you're focused. Uh, on something uh, that's that's where the firework is happening and that you've turned off your focus. Or I saw on Scott Kelby's blog, he was saying that you can focus on infinity. You know, you just turn your lens until you see the symbol infinity. That also works pretty well uh, because you're usually pretty far from uh, and, and and your, your fireworks should be really sharp. So voila, I hope you like this and uh, come to France for the 14th of July because they are doing it again this year. Huge fireworks. If you come to Paris, you have to be by the Eiffel Tower, but please do not take your car. Metro or motorbike, do not take your car. You won't get there. You literally have about eight to nine million people watching the show. Okay, so thank you very much and I'll see you in another episode. All right, guys, I hope you like this episode and then you're going to go come to France on the 14th of July and shoot with me the Eiffel Towel. That'd be very nice. I thank you very much and I'll see you in the next episode. Au revoir.